All right, guys, we got some big plans today. Uh, let's start off with going to the P.O. box since I haven't checked it in a while. Um, one of the big things we got to do today is we got to take my truck to get worked on. Bunch of big things we got to do today. I'm skipping school because nobody has time for school. So uh, I'm going to run to the P.O. Then we could call Garrett, get his ass awake since he likes to sleep till 1 o'clock. It's currently 9.50. So... Uh, yeah, let's get the day started. Look at my grandma's house. My dad's currently doing the siding and all that stuff. This thing has changed so much. It looks great. Should be finishing up with that soon and maybe we'll have some time to ride. All right, guys, we made it to the PO office, PO box. Uh, I'm gonna go in and see what we got. I have a feeling we're gonna have a lot of stuff, so I'm kinda excited. We'll, we'll have to see. Guys, I lied. We didn't get all that much. We got, that's about it. Uh, shout out to Connor. Shout out to Michael Berger. Berger, that's actually his last name. I thought I read that wrong. Uh, Nick. Anyway, where's this from? Australia. We we're, we might have to open this one on camera. Australia. So we'll open those later. I don't know if we'll do it on camera. Toss those over there. Uh, I think I'm gonna run to Dollar General, and this lady's looking at me funny. That's awkward and get some washer fluid and some air fresheners i don't know there's not much to do i got time to kill before garrett gets up uh i haven't filmed anything but currently i'm working on my truck there's nothing to do but i'm about to burn my truck i'm gonna see how this works so let me show you guys what i'm working on so if you can see this my bed uh, rail guard does not stay down these clips right here actually broke and so what I've done is I've taken the tail light out and you can see wow it's really bright out here you can see these little clips where they're supposed to clip in at well I think what I'm gonna do since 3m tape under here wouldn't work is I'm going to uh, epoxy it down to the actual bed itself but what I'm gonna have to do is rough up the plastic to get the epoxy to stick and the Dremel that didn't work so I've seen people you know stipple glocks that's that's what gave me the idea they stipple the gun the glocks by heating up a little uh, we usually they use a wood burner and they'll press into the plastic and that's stippling it so basically that's what I'm going to do. That's why I got the lighter. That's why I got this little screwdriver. Hopefully it's going to work. I don't know if it is. I don't even know if I have epoxy, but we'll see how it goes. So the stippling, it went perfect. Currently I'm trying to... Lighting so bad. Currently I'm trying to figure out the best way to epoxy it. Because the stippling worked. It, it's perfect. I'll show you guys in a second. But I ran into the problem of needing some way to make the epoxy not drip once I apply it. And I think this is the answer. I'm going to miss this thing this uh, through the winter. Kayaking was fun this year. I, I enjoyed it. But winter is upon us. It was 30 something degrees this morning. It's crazy. So here's the stippling. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let it focus. Stippling worked pretty good. I have something heavy sitting on top. This is chemical guys, not sponsored. I wish they would. Uh, <laughs> so that's holding it down. I was thinking of using like a foam lock to push up the epoxy, but I think I'm gonna use uh, a sponge, cut the sponge to fit up in here. Saran wrap around the sponge so it doesn't, the epoxy doesn't stick to it. Once it dries, once the epoxy is applied and then dries, I can pull the sponge out. All right, guys, I'm not gonna bore you with the details. Uh, got the sponge saran wrapped. About to mix my epoxy. And I'm hoping this will work. I don't have a clue. Wish me luck. Well, I finished. Never put epoxy on your fingers. It got everywhere. But uh, right now, that first sponge is up under there and I put this one under just to hold it up even better. I think it's gonna work. I really don't have a clue. 
Let's hope it works. I don't know. We will see. I gotta learn to vlog right because I'm really bad at this. I know everybody likes looking around in the garage whenever I make a video because they're always asking questions about it. Here's all the bikes. It's the same old stuff. KX, no, shut up. No one cares. Uh, the Scrambler, it's dirty, but she's back. Video on her coming soon. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> Everything's out back. But I'll have to show you guys that another day. I think I'm going to let this sit for an hour or so until we got to go. What time is it? Oh my gosh, my fingers are so sticky. Damn, epoxy. It is... Okay, my phone's temperature is too high, but it's 12.09. So, oh shit, it's 12.09. <laughs> well, we got to go because we, we got to be at the guy's place at 1 o'clock. So, Garrett better wake up. Uh-oh. I don't know what's going on with my phone. Oh shit, Garrett texted me saying he's in the shower. When did he text that? 12.06, four minutes again. I'm about to get in the shower. Okay. All right, all righty. We are good to go. Uh... I'll pull that out in about 30 minutes, plug the tail light back in, and then we'll leave to go. You may ask where we're going, me and Garrett. I, a place I've been wanting to go for a long time. I'm going to leave that a surprise. It's not even the title and thumbnail of the vid. Look who's calling me. I bet it's Garrett. No, no, it wasn't Garrett. Anywho, uh, I've been needing to go for a long time. It's going to cost me $300 or $275, so... You guys can leave your guesses down in the comments. Go ahead and leave a guess. Uh, the title and thumbnail of this video. We'll talk about when I get back. Alright guys, me and Garrett are currently on the way to go uh, get my windows tinted. I'm not going to tell you guys yet how dark I'm going. I'm going dark though. Not as dark as Garrett's. But I think I'm going to go back and get them as dark as him. Uh... Should be fun. I can't wait to see what my truck looks like when it's done. Something I've been putting off for a very long time, so uh, I'm ready to have this over with. Hey, Garrett. Up, How's it going, dude? Where have you been? Hey, did you notice my uh, my tail light over there? Yeah, let's go. Let's go look at that real quick. Oh, that's nice. I know, dude. That's you like, like some it? Garrett Porter custom job. I know. All right. So uh, I'm actually epoxying my bed cover down. Mm. And I didn't have time for it to dry, so mm. if you see, I got a sponge in there holding the epoxy up. Some yee yee shit, ain't it? Yeah. All right, guys, we're currently just getting gas before we go uh, get the tent. Uh, Are you excited? I'm extremely excited, dude. It's gonna look mean. We need to get some truck pics. That's what we need to do. I'm gonna do like a before and after. Of what? My truck? All right. All right. Since Garrett's doing it before and after, I think after I think I will too. He's taking all of this tent off, all the old crappy tent. He's gonna fix the windshield, and he's putting five all the way around, all on the back glass, all on the back, everything, and then he's putting true 35 on the front windshield. So it's gonna look way darker than what it is. Oh yeah. And uh, yeah. So the next time you see this truck, it will be almost darker than mine. We are currently leaving. Uh, Are you putting your face in that? Yeah, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm trying this face vlog and stuff, dude. How's it right now? Everyone enjoying it? If you guys like it, yes or no? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell me in the comments. All right, guys, we're back at my Bye, house. Guys. I say that every time. Guys, we're back at my house. I got some box. Well, yeah, I got some boxes on the porch uh, for my Glock. I'll show you guys what's in those boxes. And yeah. What is that? You already, oh, you're opening my boxes? No. I think I'm more excited than you are. There are my well, we sights. I'm got, excited for my sights. We got some deluxe 510 mole pistol pouches. We That's got the same thing. Pistol pouch and we got some true glows. True glows for my Glock 20. All right, Garrett. I guess Garrett's unboxing everything. Let me just cover up my address. Pretty sure this is just uh, a range bag. Whoa, Garrett. Whoa. We got a Glock bag. Glock bag. It's kind of nice, actually. Whoa. I know, it holds four. Four what? Glocks. Four pistols. Nice, dude. What else we got to open? Oh, that's it. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Almost forgot. Oh, 
What's that? Oh shit, those came in early. One of these is my dad's. It's just to go into the butt plug right here. <laughs> you said butt plug. Alright guys, well, I'm gonna go ahead and start setting stuff up. Maybe put my sights on or whatever. I'm not gonna film that. This isn't a Glock video, but... You know. Oh, and check out these uh, Talon grips I put on my Glock. Oh my god. Yeah. Yo, this thing is huge. I know, it's a 10 millimeter. We are about to be on the way. I got a text from Jose. So, uh, truck is done. I'm excited. Are you excited, Garrett? I'm excited for you. I'm excited. Shit. Looks dark, doesn't it? Alrighty, guys. I'm gonna go in and pay the man. When we get back to the house, I'll show you guys the truck. Alright, guys. We have made it home. Oh, and Garrett's singing. Oh, hell yeah. And the sign you can see of where they squeegeed it and stuff, I don't really like that. Obviously, that'll go away, I'm sure. Garrett, he told him to put hashtag YouTube money on my truck, but I'll probably take those off. And I wish that Carolina Finest sticker was on that side and I took that sticker off. But uh, I can change that and I'll get another one of those. Thing is dark. This looks like it held up. Hell yeah. It's still attached down. Are we? We are. And here's Brayden's truck. Oh, hey Brayden Press. What's up, G Squad? Is that what you G -Squad. call them? G Squad? Wow. Alright, so don't worry about any of this because. Yeah, all wait, of this it's is... the squeegee. Yeah, all of this will come clean later on. This is five over factory, and factory is usually like 30 or 40. But wow, it is dark. Why is this so faded? I don't know. What I noticed that. It's been faded, but I think all the shit that they put under and squeegee out got on it, and it yeah. faded it more. I'm sure that will just buff out. I'm, there's, i got to figure out what I'm going to put on that. Because it was faded, but now it's worse. Yeah. So. so. Can you see? Huh? Can you see? Yeah, I'm not blind. Let's see what your mom says about it. Oh man. Well, it, That's too dark. It definitely does. That's not legal. Once you get double five on the back, you, it's, it's going to be dark. Oh yeah. Which that's what I plan to do. Welcome to the tent game, Brayden. Tent game. Now once you get used to it, the only crappy part is once you get used to it, you're going to want to go darker. Yeah. I, I'm already wanting oh, five what? on the what? back. You? Yeah, they put that on what? mine. What? Twins? Twinsies, Twinsies. what? Oh my gosh. We gotta go check truck pictures. Truck pictures? Truck. I gotta wash my truck, dude. Yeah, I saw you cut through the ground. Actually, I didn't see you cut through the ground, <laughs> but I turned and I saw your taillights and I was like, how'd you get in front of me? Yeah, I cut through the church. Yeah, I did that and I got a nail in my tire, so I don't do that. Oh, anymore, really? So. Good job, Raiden. I forgot to tell you that, but, um, YOLO. Mom, come look at my tent. It's too dark? I'm going back. I gotta go darker on the back windows. And then I gotta get my strip. It's gonna get dark. Just wait. <laughs> Cause Garrett told him to. Garrett told him to put a hashtag, the same sticker Garrett has. He told him to put it on there. I might take it off in like a week or two. I don't know yet. <laughs> uh, so, from the title of this video, you guys are probably wondering what's going on. Oh yeah, the camera, I ran out of footage space, footage space over there, and I had to delete some stuff off my card. Uh, my truck got keyed. What? Got keyed, Garrett. When? Remember? Yeah. It got keyed, did it not? Yeah, it did. So, I already had it work, I already had it, uh, fixed. It cost me, like, 60 bucks. Well, it cost them 60 bucks. Uh, the dumbass was on camera when he keyed it, so at school. at school, figured it out, figured out the time, all my friends told me everything, so uh, it's kind of, it's resolved now, it is fixed, uh, it was right here. I'm sure I have some pictures of it and I'll have to show you guys, he's going to honk the horns, what the, <laughs> I knew it, it had a scratch from here all the way to here so he did key it it is fixed it is resolved everything's okay i'll show you pictures of it when i actually took it 
to the body shop to have it worked on or whatever. I didn't know they were fixing it that day. I was expecting to be out of a truck for a day or two because they quoted us $400 to fix it, which it ended up not being $400. Yeah, my truck was keyed. It's crazy. If you guys didn't know, it was it's still brand new paint. This paint's been on here for, I don't know, a month, four or five months actually. No dents in it, nothing. Flawless. And uh, it's really dirty right now, but perfect paint. And some dumbass keyed it. I'm not gonna say names. I'm not, because obviously I know you guys. You guys would go after his ass. And, <laughs> and I don't want that. It's, it's over with. It's done with. But, uh, yeah. I thought I'd tell you guys, talk about it. Here's some pictures of it. It was bad. You could really see it in the light. You could feel it with your fingernail. He ended up sanding it down and then buffing it. And that got out all of it, I think. It's really dirty right now from bug guts and whatever, but uh, you might still be able to see the line a little bit. But I'm not really all that worried about it right now. Uh, right here is some buffing where the guy, I don't know if it's his sandpaper got it or whatnot, but I'll have to get go back and get that buffed out or whatnot. This happened one or two months ago, so it's kind of old news now, but I thought I'd tell you guys. I'm going to go ahead and close off the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If right, I should guys. do more vlogs like this in the future, let me know. Uh, I can't really all that much because of school, but I'll try. I'll see what I can do. Editing's Subscribe been hard. Subscribe to the G-Squad to help me hit 20,000. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys on the next one.